we have been with family together for two years. We get two years to stabilize ourselves. And within these two years, we have accomplished a lot of things. And March 2012, we get a chance to graduate. And the graduation felt great. We were self-sufficient. And even after we left here, we came across problems that we had before we even joined families together. But this time we were prepared to overcome these obstacles. I found out about disabilities that I have, so I was taken out of work. And now we have one income, but we can still maintain, even though we felt, we felt for a second there, we were going back to our old ways, we got to figure out something else. But instead of stressing, we learned many, money management, so now we are stable to be able to do this. And before we left the program, the greatest thing was we had to save. Alright, the nurturing game here, we came, became very acquainted with it. I mean, it's to where you, you get to know your kids better and your kids get to know how you feel about certain things. And expressing these feelings to the children, they may understand why they have to do chores and why it's necessary to keep clean. We have a 13 year old that just didn't want to clean, but after the nurturing game, after a couple rounds of the nurturing game, me and her, we actually gained sight to why she didn't want to do it. She thought, as growing up, she thought that we were supposed to do it. She didn't feel like it was her job. So now putting, it, it was a struggle to put chores in a place with them. So the nurturing game helped us go about showing emotions about exactly how she felt about it. And I didn't think the nurturing game would take us as far because I've played many a games that's supposed to help show emotion and all of the above. But it didn't really, <laughs> it didn't really, the games didn't really fit what it said it would fit. Now, the nurturing game, they explained it to me, so I'm like, oh, another game. But the nurturing game, it, it turned out to actually change me in a very special way because I can hug my children. That's the major thing I got from it, hugging and showing emotion. I, don't, I, did, I didn't show emotion, and I didn't hug my children. And I just kept them at a distance. I always said I love you, but that was, never ju that was just enough. I wanted to give my kids more than just enough. The nurturing game, oh my gosh, it, it, ch it changed me in a tremendous way. Financial peace, oh my gosh. I am the, I was the worst money handler ever. I was like a two-year-old, if I get a dollar, I have to spend it right then and there, or it burns a hole in my pocket. I didn't think of future, I didn't think of life insurance, I didn't think of major and important things actually but when you're not taught things you don't think of those it was in my head that wants come last and for me wants were just like a need I was like a kid I mean you go out and buy whatever you'd like if I, if I have the money in my pocket they can have whatever they want but they're keeping a roof over their head is more important The children are happy. Everybody is self-sufficient right now, and I say it's almost a year later, and we have accomplished being stable for a whole year after the YWCA. And right now, my partner Sharika, she is gained employment with the Y, so now we are actually doing pretty great. We're still a part of the YWCA family, and proud to be part of the YWCA family.